Hey, what's up? This is Dylan from Stupid Raisins, and this is how to use Caption Pop AI. First, export the audio of your project. I'll press Command E, I'll go to Settings, and I'll switch it to Audio Only, and I'll select MP3. Caption Pop AI supports all of these audio formats. Then I'll click Next, and then I'll click Save. Go back to Final Cut Pro and click on this little icon in the upper right corner to open the extension. The first time you launch Caption Pop AI, you'll need to authorize it. So enter your administrator password and click Always Allow. You'll need to do that three times. Next, click on Select Audio and select that file you exported earlier. Next, select your processing type and model. If you need more information, just click on these little info buttons. Local and small will work well for me, so I'll click continue. If I want to start all over, I can click on generate new captions. If I want to regenerate captions using a different model, I'll click on restart. Next, I'll match the frame rate to my project frame rate. Now I can customize the text to make it look exactly how I want. I can change the size. I can also change the font too. I can change alignment and tracking, baseline, I can also change the position where it is on screen. I'll come back and adjust that in a second. I can also change the color. I'll click here and I'll select a blue. I can also adjust the title settings. I'll enable this button here and then I'll set the maximum number of words I want in one line. Let's go up to nine. And then I'll select how many lines I want. I want two lines. You'll see it's getting cut off here. So we'll use this Y parameter to move it up. I can just click and drag up and down on the Y to change where the position is. Okay, that looks good. I can also preview each caption by just clicking on it right here. Those look good and I'm ready to add them to Final Cut Pro, so I'll click on Open in FCP. I'll select my library and I'll click Choose. Next, I'll minimize this window so that I can work in Final Cut Pro. All right, in Final Cut Pro, you'll see a new event that was made. Open up the project and then select all by pressing Command A and then Command C to copy. I'll go back to my project and then I'll go to the very beginning of it and I'll press Command V to paste the captions. Let's see how that looks. What's cool with this blur is we can animate this angle and amount. So we'll go back to the beginning and we'll set a keyframe for amount and angle. And then we'll move towards the end and we will change the amount and the angle. And here's what that looks like. That looks great. I can also do the same for a vertical video. Let's open up Caption Plugin again by clicking on this here. And let's change it to vertical video by clicking on this button. Now we can see my captions are cut off on the side. That's okay. What we need to do is reduce the number of words in a line. Let's go to three, and then we need to, actually let's try four, and then we need to increase the maximum number of lines. Six looks really good. All right, let's preview those. They look pretty good, but they're too far down. Let's use this Y parameter to move them up a little bit and give ourselves some space. Okay, that looks much better. And then all I have to do is click Open in FCP again, select my library, and click on choose. Minimize Caption Pop AI. And now I have a new event in Final Cut Pro. And if I open up the project, I can select all, copy, go back to my vertical video project, go to the beginning of my project and paste it. And here's what that looks like. An amount. So we'll go back to the beginning and we'll set a keyframe for amount and angle. And then we'll move towards the end and Nice. I can also export the captions as an FCP XML file and then open that later in Final Cut. So I'll click on export, I'll save it, and then I'll minimize the caption plugin and let's go up here to file in Final Cut Pro and click on import and select XML. I'll find my file, select it, and then I'll press import. This is asking if I want to replace it because it has the same name and that's fine. I'll select replace. So it creates this event and inside that event is a project. And if we double click it, we have our captions. I can also export them as an SRT file to be used as closed captions in Final Cut. I'll click on Export SRT and I'll save it. Minimize Caption Pop. Then go up to File, Import, and select Captions. I'll find my file and then I'll select Import. And you'll see that it added these closed captions right in Final Cut Pro for me. 
So that's how to use Caption Pop AI. If you have any questions or need any help at all, email me at raisinhater at stupidraisins.com. Happy editing.